Okay, welcome to Team Hatterful Reads the Manga, or at least I think it says that. We'll get the cryptographers onto that shortly. Uh, but <laughs> seriously, Zach has done an amazing job uh, putting the Hatterful Koreshi by Moa into visual novel format so that we can share it with you, the uh, Team Hatterful audience. And uh, I don't know what's in this chapter. I've never played it before. I don't know if that goes for everyone else. I have. Uh, I've read the. I've read the bird form part of the manga. I stopped at the human part because that was Holiday Star stuff, and it was before Holiday Star came out, and I was wary of spoilers. Uh, I have not played uh, Zach's version. I play tested it, but I've already <laughs> forgotten. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I've right. read little bits and pieces of the manga, but I don't even remember which parts they were. So they probably weren't this part. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, gone through a few parts of it. A uh, big surprise. <laughs> All right. Well, we have you to thank for whatever follows. The most excellent school of the pigeon, by the pigeon, for the pigeon. The school that carries that reputation is St. Pigeonations Academy. The most excellent pigeons receive a high-level education here every day. When the teachers are awake. <laughs> Oko-san is high level! <laughs> <laughs> While they are omitted in this format, in the manga, the pseudo-human appearances are only to help beginners feel the bird moe. In the end, the characters are all birds. Yes, I did have to translate a few things uh, a little differently just to make them work. <laughs> Beginners can also feel at ease when reading the manga. <laughs> and lastly, here's a warning. Covering the floor in feathers is prohibited. <laughs> it's already 8 o'clock! I'm gonna be late! I'm Kalante Teo, the only human attending St. Pigeon... Mm, the only human <laughs> attending St. Pigeonations Academy. <laughs> For the viewer, change the cast, change the cast. <laughs> For the viewer, this is our read through of the manga, so we are using our name for her, colon B. <laughs> <laughs> I have to hurry! There's a quiz first period! <laughs> Why is it that you can't see me? That's because I'm the heroine of this story. If this were one of the actual visual novels, I'd be the character you play as. Don't sweat the small stuff. <laughs> if you want to know Oh, Jesus! Oh, Let you go! go! <laughs> Hello, Buffalo Steamroller. <laughs> I'll get you, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot to mention, I put a quick time event in there, uh... Sorry, you're gonna have to start all over. <laughs> Congratulations on getting our our hero killed so quickly. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. Huh? Teo wasn't here yet. Oh, I see you put like the ties on everyone, just like in the manga. <laughs> Not yet! She is late! Hmm. You can tell one's worth by their timeliness and how festively pink their ribbon is. <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, altered some of the uh, portrait images to match how they look in the manga because that actually comes up on a few occasions. Ah. You can contact her, can you not, Kawara? Why don't you try calling her? Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'm prettier ah. than you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, she was trampled by a buffalo on the way to school. She might take today <laughs> off. Wait, what kind of route was Kalante taking to school? Ah, that's right. You've only just transferred here, Sakuya, so you wouldn't know. Tato lives in the wilderness a little ways outside of town. The, the wilderness? One can live in that sort of place. I think it's usually impossible, but Teo said... To be fair, living isn't exactly her strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> of course a high school girl can survive in the wilderness! 
or something like that. Cool, right? <laughs> <sighs> I want to be st become strong like Teo someday. If you want to be like Teo someday, you're going to have a considerable amounts of lobotomy. <laughs> As expected of Japan, even high school girls have the samurai spirit. doesn't feel well. Are you okay? You don't look well! No, I can't have a weak stomach. Oko-san shall stroke it! He will Tell flap you. until it hurts and hurts! Jeez, <laughs> you, yeah! <laughs> God! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cleaned the fluff out of my headphones. Okasan <laughs> used wing attack. It's super effective. <laughs> ow, ow! Wait, son! My back hurts so much now I've forgotten about my stomach! That's a form of success. <laughs> <laughs> Okasan has no idea what he is eating, but it is delicious. That was your classmate. Oh! <laughs> I was going to say, was Shu anywhere near the kitchen? <laughs> bah! This local literature is rubbish. Doesn't this uncultured country have any worthwhile reading material? Wait, you he wasn't to read it all backwards. <laughs> he wasn't eating books, was he? Uh, honestly, I had no idea what he was eating in that particular panel of the manga, so I just kind of ad-libbed it. Uh, wow, it's hard to tell the difference between Slime and Sekuya since you're both fantails. Racist! <laughs> yeah, how do you like being on the receiving end for once? <laughs> Implying that this filthy mongrel looks like me? Blasphemy! Sakuya used correction kick. It's super effective. <laughs> Raida's going off the manga's depictions of us, Sakuya. But if humans look at you, it's hard to tell the difference, so if you explain. <laughs> I'm the pretty one! <laughs> For the viewer, while they're easy to tell apart here, in the manga the fantail characters look quite similar. The one with a fine spread of tail feathers and wearing a ribbon is Sakuya, and the one that is completely naked is San. <laughs> uh oh, what's going on? Uh, Whoop, there we uh, go. The bell was ringing. Oh, okay. Okay, good work, everybody. <laughs> I, don't know how, I don't know how I managed to mess up pronouncing every birdie. <laughs> That's all for today. Be careful on your way home. <laughs> Super Okosan time has arrived! I will run! He was fast asleep all afternoon, and then he suddenly becomes energetic? It's because Oko-san is burning for the track club! Does Ryuta have anything he burns for in the afternoon? I go home after school. If you have to go that far, maybe I'm burning for my part-time job, but... If you run with Oko-san, you'll be burning as you go home! Oh, wait, son! And he grabs him by the tie. <laughs> ah! Don't pull me! You'll tear my ring off! You'll tear it! <laughs> Oko-san, 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 Oko-san! I'm very and proud of us all getting through that... I'm very proud of us all getting through that scene without making a Nageki joke. <laughs> <sighs> I got dragged all over the city. My heart is being a little faster than usual. 
If you ask why I go home after school, well, I live with only my mother and I have a part-time job because I want to help with the expenses. It turns out I'm the ace at a maid cafe and I'm a bit proud of that. Listen, Ryota, I fought the buffalo again after that. It was a great victory! And just like that, I was overshadowed and Teo shown again today. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> yeah, I made these for whenever we switch to the uh, pseudo human section. Ah. Uh. ah. Welcome back, Master. Ooh! What? <laughs> hey. What the hell are you doing? Is this your true self, Kawara? And as you can see, I omitted the uh, pseudo-human part of it. <laughs> Bird form ah, is best form. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, excuse me. It's only a part-time job, Master. Well then, please call me Colleen while you're here. Unbelievable! Don't you have any pride? That's not it! He's... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's a proud part-timer, so he has the mindset of a pro! He was able to become a pro at his job! I was waiting for you to come home, Master. Please, come this way. Your Colleen voice is prettier than it has any right to be. Yes, I like this. <laughs> um, thanks? <laughs> <laughs> Don't just go off on your own, you plebeian! Kalante said, if you want to study the culture of Japan, first you should go observe Ryuta at his job, which couldn't be any worse than asking my mother about the culture of Japan, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think your mother could come up with anything anywhere near the culture of Japan. <laughs> it's standard for Japan's high school boys to work part-time at a maid cafe in their free time, she said. Here I used my precious time to come to this hovel, but what is this? This is no different than children playing house! Ch a maid cafe! What low-level cultural nonsense is this? And cue the angry birds. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. What? Do you have a complaint? <laughs> Calm down, everybody. Leave this to me, okay? I understand what you're saying, Master, but people of all ranks must hold jobs, and we always strive to practice the highest level of entertainment every day. Disguising ourselves under assumed identities while thoroughly and easily completing the tasks given to us? Why, you could say that we maids are... The modern day ninja! <laughs> Modern day ninja? <laughs> I like how my Sakuya voice just keeps getting higher and higher and higher the more I voice act him. Like, one of these days he's just going to explode in mid sentence or something. <laughs> ah, I see then. The fabled ninjas, the secret organization of legend, live on in a place like this even now. If you are ninjas, it cannot be helped. I withdraw my previous remarks. My apologies. Wow, Sophia really is weak to the ninja and samurai keywords. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful cake! This establishment lacks pudding! <laughs> and nobody ever explained what the hell uh, Oka was doing in that scene in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> he was he's a very for the pudding. He, he's a very high class bird. He attends maid cafes. <laughs> cafes. He just... he actually they let him into the highest society seagull department store. So yeah, exactly. Say that. <laughs> Once. <laughs>